Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D looking button in Unreal Engine. This is a tutorial I just did on how to underline text using the border. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to leave the canvas panel up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get a button. Well, actually, I'm going to get a vertical box. Try that on. And I'm just going to size this to my own size here, not size to content. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a button. So I want the button inside the vertical box. And then we can put some text inside the button. So let's just put do that. And so, and it doesn't have to say anything special, but 3D look. Now once we got this all set up, we're gonna go and get a border. And I find these exceptionally handy to use. So what we're gonna do is drag down here and put it just above the button. And this is kind of the next one. This is the, the trick. And well, we can actually just duplicate this one. Hit Control D. And the great thing about these borders is you don't have to use spacers. You can just use padding. But anyway, I'm gonna drag this on the other side of the button. I have to close the button to do that. So now I'm going to have to add this to the viewport to let you see it. So let's go in the first person here and let's just add it to the, let's add it over here real fast. Great widget. I was getting ready to bring some assets into Unreal Engine for buttons and then as I was experimenting with the UMG, I realized I can create what I need with what's already in Unreal, and so there was no need for me to bring in additional assets. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'll just add this to the viewport. Uh, we don't need this, so. so let's see if I hit play. So we have this button, that's the way it looks right now. So it just looks pretty two-dimensional right now, as it is. But what we can do is to give it that 3D appearance is it's a single setting and it's it's easy to miss so we're not gonna mess with this and we gotta be on the border right this is so interesting this is why we have tint here and we have brush color but it's not the brush color it's the tint and so what we do is we click here and we set this to black and then on the alpha we knock it down to 0.5 wait did i do that right i want to is that black all right yes so on the tint not the brush color and this is on the border this can all stay the same that can all stay the same but on the tint put the tint alpha at 0.5 and bring the color down to black and then if you do that Pile and say, look what happens. Oops, I gotta. Can we see it now? Okay. See that? <laughs> now the button really pops off the screen. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.